Yeah, it's been the um, last couple of weeks, obviously more so than last week, has been very difficult. But, you know, we've built up momentum at the start of the year, unbeaten in three. Uh, and when you're doing well, you want the games to come. And unfortunately for us, we, we haven't played in three weeks. Um, so you're a little bit coming into it. You know, will that have an effect on us? Will we be fresh? Will we, you know, can we pick up where we left off? And I think for us to go to Carlisle, one of the fancied sides in the top three, and get a point, and again, it could on another day been, could have been three. You know, we've, we've had a large, big shout for a, a penalty on that day. Uh, we've come here today against top of the table, undefeated at home. You know, as you say, after the day that we've had, uh, the week that we've had, and uh, I'm just proud of everyone associated with the club, the players, the backroom staff, the fans who travelled over, all the goodwill messages from people who haven't come today. Um, you know, the youth team won. That was a great start for the day. Young Steve Yorson's been on loan at uh, Kendall and scored two. We've come here and done the business, you know, and getting a, a well-deserved point. And, uh, you know, in football, you, you wanted good days, and today's certainly one of them. I do love that sort of game. I don't enjoy Peter throwing an elbow at me, though, and doing my eye, but <laughs> it's one of them things. But, no, I do enjoy them sort of games. That's rough. Get involved, few tackles, few elbows being thrown, but... I don't mind that sort of thing. I'll get on with it and keep playing. It was, uh, yeah, it was mad, like, because obviously they're on a great run. But it's all way to be fair. I'm beating them four, and to get come here and get a point was was great for the lads. But on a personal, to get me a professional debut, it was a great feeling. Yeah. For a forward, I was doing a bit of track and back. Not what not what I'm used to doing, but I'm happy to do it. You know, chip in for the team and to get that result, it was well worth it. As far as battling performances and giving it their all for the shirt and togetherness and spirit and the way the fans clapped us off the coach and I got the players to go over and see them after the warm-up and right at the end there and the way they sung all day. It was just one of them days where it makes you really proud. So great that we've got something for our troubles. It would have been terrible if we would have conceded at the end. And as strange as it is, all the negativity surrounding the place, the spirit's been great. You know, I've seen it in the past, you know, speaking to people like last year, you know, when there was floods in the area. Everyone, you know, there's no electricity for four days or so. And the next thing, everyone just gets around each other, keeps everyone G'd up. And I'm sure we'll have a big, big baby boom, boom somewhere along the lines. <laughs> it's about nine months, you know, sort of like that. Uh, obviously, the lads aren't happy with the situation, but there's a great team spirit within us, and the gaffers kept us going. And coming out and putting a performance like that, you can see it's not affecting us as what everyone thought it would. It is, it is tough. Um... There's been days where people have been down, but you've got the likes of Kev, he'll just go and make everyone laugh with somebody he says or somebody does. And it, it just, the team spirit we've got in there is unbelievable. Um, and that's basically what's getting everyone through it. It is frustrating times, it is worrying times, um, but we're just getting on with the job and we went out there and yeah, got the, got the point. <laughs> well, it's fit for lions, isn't it, that pitch? <laughs>